What's up guys, Dar Sizzle here from Dar Sizzle Offshore and today we're doing something a little different in this video. This is going to be a clean, a cook, a catch video on this beautiful giant blackfin tuna that we caught. So let us know how you like the setup of this video in the comments down below as you watch it of course. But first, let's dive right into filleting this fish and then we're going to cook this fish in the house and then we're going to show you exactly how we caught this fish so you can go and do it too hopefully. Alright, so let's get them set up here. Beautiful black fin. This fish has been bled and they are of course delicious sushi fish and actually blackfin tuna are one of the only tuna in the world that are not commercially harvested. So only recreational fishermen can go out and catch these guys. And the cool thing too before I cut them wide open and I'll show you these beautiful fillets is how streamlined this fish is. You can actually just look at his eyeballs right here and how they're streamlined to his head. Like just straight streamlined like a teardrop shape and then even the fins the fins lay flat against the body and there's an indentation right where the fins lay so you can just streamline and just freaking flood, go fast through the water and the coolest part is this dorsal fin completely hidden and embedded inside the, the uh, fish and then here you go it comes out there's like a whole little and you can see like a uh, almost like a precision incision there where the dorsal fin lays right inside the fish's body. I mean, it's the coolest thing ever. So he's just a perfect streamlined teardrop shape, beautiful fish. And again, this is a nice size black fin tuna for around here. And they get up to about 30, 35 pounds. It's a nice trophy fish around here. So let's dive right into this. Gonna use a bony knife today to get these big fillets off. We're gonna take it, get a sharp knife, of course, and angle it up by the head. Get right up into under there and then go all the way into the head because there's head meat, okay? That's gonna be one of the best parts of the sushi. And we're gonna show you exactly the best parts to eat for sushi and sashimi. And then we're just gonna run this right down his back. You can see that fin is popping up now as I get close to that bone. It's super, super tough right in here. So I kind of just go like right around that and then follow it all the way down. And wait till you see these loins, so excited. It's been a while since I've caught a big blackfin tuna. Actually, Brian caught this tuna behind the camera. And then right to the head, tail here, we'll just cut it right behind these, uh, I forget what those are called, but just a super muscular fish. And then we're just gonna take the same knife and work it down and wait till you see the color of these loins. I am so excited. But of course, sushi fish and any fish you catch, you know, you really want to take care of that fish. Ice it down properly. Make sure he stays nice and chilled. And as long as you take care of your fish, they're going to be absolutely delicious. It's all about respecting the fish that you catch in the ocean. And then we're just going right over this backbone, staying real tight to it. You can see that backbone right here. And then, make sure I'm cleared up there. And then we're just going to slab this bad boy right off. Ooh, look at that pink meat. I'm so excited to have some tuna. It's been a minute. A lot of people will tell you too that blackfin tuna are right up there with bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, all of the tuna family. They're all delicious. It's just a robust flavor, very flavorful, very mild, and just a very firm, delicious meat. All right, and then we go all the way down. And there is our sushi filet. Woo! And even right here, just the little bit, the little pieces that are left, this is perfect sashimi meat. Also, right, like right along the bone is gonna be delicious. Like that right there. I'm gonna eat it right now. Mmm. So good. Okay, so now we got that big beautiful loin off. For sashimi meat, a lot of people will tell you that right here, we're gonna get shave off a little bit of this belly meat. But right on, I mean this uh, belly cavity, but right under here, right underneath these little shavings is going to be the best pieces for sashimi. It's a little bit more fatty, the tuna belly, a lot of people will tell you that's their favorite. So we'll use these pieces in the house for sashimi. And then as far as sushi goes, usually the top loin is going to be the best. So shoulder, or you can call this a shoulder loin. Okay, so we got those little pieces off. We'll get that little piece off there. And you can see I just switched to my fillet knife, so I got a, bit, a little bit of flex in there. And then now what we're gonna do is take this big loin, we're gonna cut right down the center, right next to their uh, bloodline, and they have a pretty thick bloodline that goes all the way down, even though he has been bled, but you don't wanna cut through the skin. 
So just go all the way down. There we go. Get right to the edge. And then what you're gonna do is just go down, don't cut through the skin, and make your cuts. It's just nice and gentle, going down each loin and just shaving it off. Just like so. And you can see how I'm doing that. Just nice and gentle, little cuts. All right, and then you guys also, I'm sure you see the uh, fish hook and anchor bracelets that I'm wearing. I actually hand tie these and make them myself. So you guys ask me all the time, where do you get those awesome necklaces? Where do you get those awesome bracelets? I find, you can find those on my website. I hand tie them and make them myself. Again, custom made, dozens of paracord colors to choose from. Adult and child sizes available. Sterling silver fish hooks, beautiful sterling silver pendants. I'm wearing a red fish pendant right now, actually. But a great gift if you guys are interested. And then also I consider these lucky fishing bracelets. So if you want to catch some lucky fish, wear your lucky fishing bracelet and support me in my small business. All right, so you see how we did that there? We just got that loin off, that beautiful bottom loin. I'll put this over to the side. And then the same exact thing on this side. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to leave most of this bloodline on the fish. I've got a little bit of bloodline on that one. But this is gonna be the fishy part of the fish. This is gonna be, you know, not as good tasting. So I would always recommend removing this dark bloodline. Again, just gonna be really fishy, not that flavorful. And you just leave that right on the fish, okay? So we cut that right down. Same exact thing. Take your knife and start making your cuts. And this shoulder meat or the top loin, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be the best for tuna steaks. So you would cut these down into one inch pieces and you can sear them, you can make tuna burgers, you can do all kinds of awesome stuff with this top loin. So that's what we would consider our tuna steak. And by the way, this fish was almost 20 pounds. So it's a nice fish, we got a lot of meat to share with friends and family and we got fresh sushi baby all right so all the way down there you go so you can see there that's our leftovers and some of that bloodline is still on this piece of the fish the same exact thing on this side just go down and you can see the darker meat right there that's just all blood you don't want to eat that and I'm working it down as I go just to see how much bloodline is left there we go same exact thing over here. Beautiful. So we're gonna get that big old slab of bloodline out. And then this fish is gonna be ready to go in the house. So I need to finish up the other side of this beautiful black fin tuna. But you guys get the point. I'll finish up the rest of that. We got our big giant loins here. I'm so excited, you have no idea. So I will meet you guys in the house. And then also don't forget that we actually have a, a fishing trip giveaway going on right now where you can fish with me so all you gotta do is enter to win a deep sea fishing charter, $1,500, so basically worth $1,500. I said that backwards, sorry. But we're gonna tell you exactly how to enter this giveaway to fish with me, thanks to Hair Club, and we're gonna tell you immediately in the house. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes when I get done with this for a cooking with pudding portion of this video. Thanks so much, Dr. Sizzle, for cleaning up that uh, beautiful black tuna that actually I caught. I don't know what this channel would be without me, but welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. This is the hip-hop edition, because I got my, what I consider hip-hop, hip-hop hat on, and you guys know I'm so hippy-hoppy. But today we're going to be making some sushi, and I'm not just going to stick the sushi, the raw fish in my mouth with a little bit of rice. We're going to make an actual roll, and we have a little bit of fun. This is really Darcy's thing. She's very good with these specific things and how to make a rolls and, and sushi and this kind of stuff. So she's gonna be teaching me a little bit how to do it. Uh, and I'm gonna be able to example to you, example, exemplify to you how even somebody as amateurish in the kitchen as I, and maybe you doing sushi, can roll a nice sushi roll. First two orders of business. Number one, Darcy specifically wanted me to show you, look at these beautiful flowers. She's been growing, she is quite the gardener. That's her hobby besides fishing. I know you guys always ask. And so she has all these flowers. She also has orchids. Orchids? Orchids. She loves orchids. She couldn't even remember. No. Anyway, so she has all these flowers and orchids, and it's just beautiful. So that's awesome. Next, the hair club giveaway we promised you. It's happening, guys. This is the last giveaway. This is your last chance to enter. Eric K won a previous contest. We're going fishing next Tuesday. He's fishing. 
We're going full day offshore fishing with our sizzle. I'm gonna film it, we're gonna have a great time. You're gonna be in a video, you're gonna learn so much and it's worth $1,500. So you gotta enter this thing. Hair club giveaway, okay, I'm gonna put the, the thing right here, hairclub.com forward slash star sizzle. The link, of course, is in the description. Okay, so go down in the description, click it. You're gonna register, okay? You have to, there's terms and conditions. Unfortunately for you, some of you, you have to be a Florida resident, okay? And you have to complete a hair consultation. I'm not gonna get into it more than that, but it's a $1,500 full day offshore fishing trip out of Stewart, Florida with one of the top captains in the area and then you can bring a friend. It's gonna to be totally awesome, please. It's expiring soon. Okay, we're going fishing. So that's that. Let's get to the sushi. Come on over here, sushi sushi chef, Dar Sizzle. Take a look what we got. First off, we're having a little beer. It's Sunday fun day. And uh, so first thing we're gonna do, we made some rice already. And so we're gonna get started here. First thing we gotta do, this one's a little messed up. We have to make one of these pieces of paper. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, and all this stuff is available over at Publix or your general supermarket. We're gonna make a, just rice and seaweed and fish in the middle. It's gonna be very, very simple. Now, theoretically, you can fold this in half. So I mess it up all the time, so I'm just gonna cut it. Like you can do it like a piece of paper. You know how you can fold a piece of paper like this, and then it kinda just, you do it back and forth and it cuts. That, well, that doesn't work for me very well. So I'm just gonna use this knife. And it comes out perfect every time. And look, I know, this is uh, Smith's uh, Stag Handles. This is some of their kitchenware you can get. You can check out with Darcy's code, Darcy's 15. And I know it's not a sushi knife, okay? Sushi knife typically has flat on one side, and just an edge on the other side. So one edge, all right? So here we go, we got these already. We're gonna need those. I'm gonna put those aside over here. Now we got this thing. This is the bamboo, uh, what's it called, a nori, Darcy tells me? No, the seaweed's in the nori. The That's seaweed's- your bamboo mat. This is my bamboo. <laughs> As you can tell, this is a bamboo mat. I don't know what you people were thinking. So I got my bamboo mat. I got my nori already made. Now I can get some rice. This is just sticky rice we made in the uh, rice. Make sure they can see this though. I really well, can't see you if I come closer. Well, they don't want to see me. They want to see what we're doing right now. Okay. All right, so. All right, get your nori down. What you doing? Don't I put the, don't I put the rice down first? No. No. Nori, you know, nori first, you see guys? Yes. Nori, rough side up. There you go. Rough side up, all right. Yep. Now we're gonna cover the full board here with this rice. No, you put the rice on the nori, that's it. Oh, rice on the nori. Right. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. All right. We went through this three times already. <laughs> don't, don't listen to her, guys. Save me, save me, I gave a, a reviewed child. So you're gonna just put this how thin, Sizzle. You dip your hands. Just gonna you just cover start, it. Yeah, quarter. You see if you don't hip your hands, what happens? You quarter gotta dip inch it. thick. Quarter inch thick, you gotta dip and it. You start in the middle and you roll and it If out anyone knows end. what a quarter inch is, it's dust sizzle, let me tell you. Don't keep adding more, just roll that rice out. All right, push it out like this. Yes, there you go. You see guys, now if I just did this, cause I don't pay attention to detail, cause I'm 50 years old, I just wing it. Okay, roll out that rice. All right, right roll it out, roll it out, roll it out. Perfect. All right, so getting back to this rice, this is sticky rice, so easy to make. We have a rice cooker. And um, it's available in the Amazon store, the one we use, but you can use it, you know, whatever you want. Hopefully we're gonna use some time-lapse on this. All right, so now we're gonna make it a little fancy and we're gonna add some of these seeds, right, Sizzle? Mm -hmm. This press down good enough for you? Yeah, you gotta flip it over. Press yeah, it. all right, we're gonna, we'll, Sizzle loves these seeds. We're gonna put a bunch on, right, Sizzle? Mm -hmm. Nice, it's gonna add a little texture. Now I'm just gonna flip this over. I'm gonna press it down so it sticks. Mm -hmm. Press it down, press it down, press it down. Cover this back up, because this is Florida, you got flies and cockroaches and flying love bugs and everything else flying around here. There we go, nice and flat. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now we're gonna add our fish right here, so let's get that. Back it up a little bit, Sizzle. Move that? Yes, oh, we're gonna move this first. She, she's on top of the game, guys. Watch your back. Now, it's my time to shine. We got one of these big fat loins on here. Look at this. Oh, thank you, though, Sizzle. And so a lot of times, this is like the bottom loin. I'm just gonna cut, take that off. We only need a very, we only need like a thumb width or even a pinky width. Look at this big cut I got from on the boat the other day. Smith knives are very sharp. So, <laughs> that was bleeding like a pig. I don't know if you guys saw that video. Or I think it's after this, actually. Now we only need a little piece of this. Let me see what I want here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Does that look good? So, yeah. Looks good? Is it too fat? I guess so. Is it even in length? Oh. Even, even in thickness? Yeah. It's, even, it's, even, it's always even in length. It's only one length. <laughs> it's the width you've got to worry about, right? All right, I think this is pretty good. Good good point there, Dar Sizzle. All right, pan to the left. That's going to go right there. All right. 
Now it's time for rolling. All right. I think you're going to move this up a little bit here, closer yeah. here, right? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to roll with this. Right. All right, good. This is why I got the board here. And you're just going to, now of course, this takes a little bit of practice. Some of your parents from the 60s and 70s might be able to do this a little bit easier. I'm just saying. Even pressure all the way across. Even, Darcy, I was making a funny joke. Good job, good job. I used to do this with dollar bills back when I was a kid. Anyway, that's a whole other story. All right, so look at that, guys. Isn't that great job. Pretty good, pretty good. I think, uh, so now, now there's yeah. a thing where you can put less rice here on the edge and make it more pro level. But, uh, you know, this came out pretty well. Now, we're going to cut this in half, right, Dar Sizzle? Mm -hmm. Oh, now get your saran wrap. Oh, we got my saran wrap here. Stay right there. I got a saran wrap. Could someone please invent a way to cut saran wrap properly? Am I the only one who can't cut saran wrap? I'm like a moron. Holy, that was literally the best I ever did it in my entire 53 years. Now you're gonna cut it. What happens if you make the knife a little wet? Does that help? Mm. It should not stick, right? Whew, I think that is a good idea. All right, now you're gonna take that. Now you're just gonna take these and you're gonna put them like this. Right, make it nice and easy. Put your paper back on this. I mean, your saran wrap. I think I'm gonna wet that knife again. That was a great idea. I thought that worked really well. All right, so now you're just gonna cut it in half and then cut it again. Any size you want. These are awful big. Oh, okay. Anyway, so let's see if we can do a small one like this. I know someone's gonna yell about the style I'm cutting this with, like one thing. All right. Looking good. Let's get a plate for presentation. Boom, look at this, guys. Not too shabby, right? Look, look, look. That's your little beginner roll. Now let's see, we're gonna take this, we'll dip it right in there. Inside out roll. Inside out roll. So good, I'm gonna have another one. Hmm, hold on. Turn around and face the fans. We wanna see your reaction. Delicious? Mm-hmm. It was good. She doesn't never she never eats this early. It's lunchtime. You okay, Susan? Yummy yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Super good. No complaints. Loved it. Alright guys, so I, we're doing a video a little different today. So so far you've seen the clean you've seen the clean. You've seen the cook and eat. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna show you how we caught this the delicious catch. fish. Right. The he catch. caught it. I caught it. We had a great day in the water. We caught a bunch of some other fish too, I believe. I don't remember, a sailfish and some other stuff or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so it was great. So check it out and uh, we'll see you at the end. There you go. Here he goes, here he goes. What do we got? Sorry. Come on, eat him. Here we go. And we're on. Both are on. Oh, you hit the other line. Mother. Oh, both of them are going off. I just broke off. You're on. Tight, we're doubled up. <laughs> we're on the same line together. No, oh, mine's not a fish. I know, I think I'm over you. Yeah, All right, guys, you. welcome to the video. Woo! <laughs> nice way to start the video. <laughs> I don't know doubled what I have, up, but. Guys, doubled up. Let's get these fish to the boat. So we're up here in beautiful Stewart, Florida today. We caught a ton of bait this morning at the Bull Shark Barge, which is a well-known bait spot. Woo! And then we just started working our way out. We're at about 130 feet and found some nice weed and some, looks like a color change, the two waters meeting. So we set up and just started drifted, put out baits and sure enough, within five minutes, we're both hooked up. We gotta get these fish up though, cause the S word's around. What are these, bonitas? Don't wanna jinx it. Maybe, maybe big tunas? <laughs> maybe. Straight up and down? Who knows? That's the cool thing about fishing. You never know what you caught. But both of these lines got crushed. Woo. Get them up, get them up. Jeez. I didn't want to do so much hard work this early it's in the morning. up and down, so just. Yeah. Oh, take your time. Do that. Ooh. Ooh, nice color. Can we the end? Straight up and down, doing a circle. Yeah. Tuna? No, I don't think so. We've seen a minute. Holy cow, I think it's a tuna. Sir. Yeah, I think it's a tuna. All right, get a, get, where's yours? What? Get a gaff. I'm getting it right now. Oh, I'm, I gotta get my fish, man. Get your fish up. Here we go, one at a time, one at a time. Doing circles right under the boat, staying straight up and down. It's exactly what tunas do. Come on, baby, come up here. 
Come to the boat. Come to the boat, Blackfin. Oh, <sighs> this Blackfin. I gotta turn up a little bit more. Air over here. You let me know when he's close, okay? Yeah, yeah. I gotta get this fish. We don't want the S word to get these fish. Is that your fish? Yeah, he's side hooked. Grab by the tail. This is a lot. That was ridiculous. Come here. Chill, rap, babe. Yeah. Woo! That's the way to start the morning. I just broke my tuna off. I had a stud. Two studs. Let's get that line right back out. Get that line right back oh out. Oh my lord. Yes. Yes. We got him. We got out of the way, him. Out of the way. Dude, hold on. Let me get a second look. I just had a nice fish. He got tail wrapped. It's like a 20. One. That's at least 15. Nice fish. Hold on. All right, let's fish. Guys, we've got pictures. Darcy has been dying to catch. We both we haven't caught any tuna in like a year. A long time. This is a huge tuna for here. I know for Louisiana, whatever, it's not. This is like a 20 pounder. No, 15. 15. Which is huge around here. <laughs> no, they get 30 around here. They get 30, but we this is pretty big. We gotta 15 get and big is a big one. And unfortunately, I broke off that other tuna. That was a good, good mistake, so. Yeah. He was uh, coming in. You guys could see it back there, but he was coming in tail wrapped. And then he just gave a kick and kind of broke the line or Darcy missed him or whatever. I don't know what happened exactly, but he was coming at all screwy anyway. Yeah. But we got this one, we got some good sushi. And then uh, we put our baits right back out. And I got, actually got the kite up today. So Woo! I haven't used that in forever. So we're just kind of experimenting, not experimenting, but learn, you know, just kind of familiarizing ourselves with the kite on our boat. I got one, bite, one bait on a kite and we got some baits down, so. Yeah. All Let's right. get some more fish. Yeah. Nuts. All right, now you guys know why I hate fishing for the update. Put two lines in the water. No update. We have not got any bites since it's the first tuna, and I broke off that big fish I'm still upset about. Yeah, you should be upset. Anyway, so we, our only bites. we put a ton of bait, came out, we saw a nice area. We fished it for like 15 minutes, heard on the radio to a fish in 130, came up to 130, put lines out, two tuna in two seconds, put out a full spread, kite and everything. Not a single bite, cut off. In an so hour. You didn't see a fish, nothing for another hour after that. Crazy, man. Same depth, running, just running straight. It's just crazy. Kite, everything. Anyway, we're gonna go find some fish now. <laughs> All right, this is good practice for me since I can't gaff a tuna. <laughs> I'm gonna break him off at the boat. Here we go. Score! I gotta practice on balloons. <laughs> Cause I suck at gaffing fish. <laughs> but we are Running and gunning right now, looking for more fish. It's been quiet on the radio. Nobody's catching fish, but saw this floating balloon. Picking up your guys' garbage, whoever's it is actually. But just so you know, all mylar balloons end up in our oceans and in our forests and all throughout the United States. And they're just bad for our environment because this will sink. And it looks like a jellyfish eventually to a sea turtle. Sea turtle eats it, sea turtle dies. So these are no good. Always don't buy mylar balloons. They should be banned, just like straws. All right, in the garbage he goes. See all those colors? It's gonna look, eventually all those colors will come off. And then this resembles a jellyfish, which is, again, the sea turtle's favorite food ever. No bueno. It kind of matches you though. Did I match the garbage it's again? It's got the blue. Yeah, but the yellow matches your hat. Do I match the garbage again? You match your garbage. <laughs> you match the garbage, yes. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm matching the garbage. There you go. All right, comment below if this is yours. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to call it a wrap. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Cheer it up, though. Since we've got a great tuna, you've been wanting to catch a tuna like that forever. I didn't even catch it. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, oh, oh. So you're not happy? You're not happy when I, I catch a fish? You're only happy when I'm you catch a fish? I'm happy for you, but I'm not happy for me because I failed. <laughs> I made a huge mistake and I paid for it. And that was my one and only chance to catch a fish today. And I haven't had another chance. Yeah, you guys, I'm sorry. I, you know, I was too soon. I was, I was too surprised to actually get all the filming stuff ready. But it was coming in tail wrapped and I was like, Darcy just grabbed that thing. I didn't hear and you say she that. Kinda, well, whatever. I mean, she could have just grabbed the tail maybe or used a different gaff, but she kind of used a big gaff and I don't know, the fish swiped and ran away, but it was tail wrapped, you don't know how it rubbed on what, so yeah. we lost another nice tuna. And my my leader broke really high, like yeah. like four inches from my knot, so. Yeah, well, we, and we're using 40 pound leader and the 70 circle hook into a thread fin, uh, which caught those black fin tuna, so. And we'll put that spot in the fish angle wrap. Of course. Yeah, why not? And so I hope you guys enjoy like the way this video is structured. 
you know, we did it a little different. We did clean, cook, and then the catch. Yeah. Just to make it, you know, mix it up a little bit, like uh, ter uh, ter what the guy Tarantino would do. It's like the same format as as uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> okay. I'm, well, a, yeah. I'm a big well, director you guys, now. You guys go ahead and comment below yes. what you thought about that and let us know and give us a like if you liked it. Yes. And until next time, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. Catch what is that? What? It's a thing. It's, it's a, a new thing? Keep on, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. <laughs> Shut up. That's a new thing. That's a new tagline. Keep on catching. Keep take on your hat. catching. I wanted to say, I was trying to say, I was almost trying to say the pudding thing. Oh. Keep on catching. Yeah. I got him confused and I stopped. Now we, now we got to have keep on catching on this side of the hat. Keep on catching. All right. Can we let him go now? Let who go? These people. We said goodbye. Oh, okay. Good.